Above the sea, food is less plentiful. A lonely dinosaur has been forced to swim between the islands in search of a meal. With huge marine predators in the water, this is a dangerous journey. Large dinosaurs are rare here, and at five meters from nose to tail, Eustreptospondylus is the biggest. They are primarily scavengers, combing the beaches for dead animals, but on such small islands they are always under pressure to find more carrion. But another scavenger has got here first. This Eustreptospondylus is picking the last rotten strips of flesh off a dead turtle. But even these decaying remains are enough to trigger a confrontation. Neither will risk an injury and in the end, it is the loudest roar that wins. The only food supply on these islands that does not come from the sea are the insects. Bark beetles infest the trees here. They represent a tantalizing feast of protein just under the surface. This tempts a young Rampharynchus to probe for insect larva. But this is not really a job his beak is evolved to cope with. Now two weeks old, the young Ophthalmosaurus are growing fast on a seafood diet. But they are still at risk, especially from shark attack. A head of coral provides a temporary refuge for this pup. His pursuer has a deadly advantage. He does not have to return to the surface to breathe and has only to wait until the pup needs air. But the little reptile has one thing on his side. Speed. safe until he needs to breathe again. Having a lung full of air presents all marine reptiles with a buoyancy problem. Cryptoclidus has found one solution. He is not searching for food in the sand. He is in fact after pebbles and grit. Sieving off the fine grains, he retains the larger stones in his stomach for ballast, which weighs him down and counteracts the air in his lungs. The land represents safety for the Cryptoclidus. With the high tide they have come up onto the rock ledges to rest and also to be out of reach of Lyplorodon.
Darkness does not bring peace in the restless sea. Billions of microscopic creatures rise up from the depths as the light fails, and shoals of fish surge into life to pursue them. Ophthalmosaurus adults are masters of hunting at night, and although most have left for deeper waters, a few remain to take advantage of the plenty here. With their enormous light-sensitive eyes, they pick out squid in the gloom. Their long, toothless snouts are streamlined weapons, making it easy for them to snap up fast-moving prey. With the approaching full moon, strange-looking visitors gather on the shoreline in their thousands. These are horseshoe crabs, ancient creatures whose origins lie 150 million years before the Jurassic. On a high tide, the females struggle up the beach and each lay as many as 18,000 eggs, which the males compete eagerly to fertilize. It is a reproductive strategy that has served them well since before the dinosaurs appeared and will do so for at least another 150 million years to come.